developed uh, you know some anxiety problems or even depression after their participation in the study so the effects can be destabilizing you know they can kind of you know show you in some ways how insignificant uh, you, you know one's you know self image or you know self esteem or you know sense of self you know can really be sometimes um you know, on the other hand, uh, though, you know, some people's depression or, you know, sense of worthlessness in, uh, you know, their lives and aimlessness uh, improved quite a bit as a result of their participation in the study. Uh, and, you know, if you interview or you speak with anybody um, in, you know, these ayahuasca using, you know, churches that are springing up, especially in Brazil, you know, um, you know they, you know, fairly much across the board uniformly, you know, report, you know, that their volunteers or you know their participants in these churches, they stop using drugs, they stop drinking, their their anxiety improves, their you know their mood improves. You know, there are a small number of um, adverse responses, you know, to participation in these churches, and you know that's why it's quite important to screen people and to carefully, you know, follow them up. But. Uh, um, I'd say overall, you know, uh, you know, the, um, the people going into these ayahuasca, you know, churches, especially in Brazil, and, and especially if they stick with it, um, they tend to experience quite a bit in terms of, you know, psychological improvement and, you know, growth, those kinds of things. And we definitely need psychological improvement and growth. And we are talking with Dr. Rick Strassman. We're going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back. This is Truth Frequency. You can find Dr. Strassman's work at rickstrassman.com. His books are available on Amazon.com, DMT, The Spirit Molecule, and Inner Journeys to Outer Space. This is Truth Frequency. I'm Chris Gio, and we'll be right back in just a few minutes. When I was in the ayahuasca state, the opening line of this female voice was... The only thing you really need to know is infinite love is the only truth. Everything else is illusion. I looked down at my arm and I realized that I could no longer define the boundaries of my body. Because the left brain shut it down, it's not decoding reality in the way it normally does, and so other levels of reality are able to be perceived because the decoding process is not affecting them. Land of Mountain. Infinite love is the only truth. Land of the Kings. Everything else is illusion. Land of Mountain. Of Mountain. And when I was in the ayahuasca state, I looked down at my arm and I realized that I could no longer define the boundaries of my body. I can't define where I begin and where I end. Because the atoms and the molecules of my arm blended with the atoms and molecules of the wall. And when I was in the ayahuasca state, and all I could detect was this energy, energy. And I'm asking myself, what's wrong with me? What's going on? And in that moment, my brain chatter, my left hemisphere brain chatter, went totally silent. Just like someone uh, took a remote control and pushed the uh, mute button. I was in the ayahuasca state. At first, I was shocked. Land of mountain. But then I was immediately captivated by the magnificence of energy around me. Land of mountain. And because I could no longer identify the boundaries of my body, I felt enormous and expansive. I felt at one with all the energy that was, and it was beautiful there. Imagine what it would be like to be totally disconnected from your brain chatter that connects you with the external world. So here I am, in this space, and any stress that related to me, 
To my job, it was gone. And I felt lighter in my body. And imagine all of the relationships in the external world and the many stresses related to any of those, they were gone. A, a, a sense of peacefulness. See, all this stuff, all this stress, all this stuff that, 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 that causes such grief and, 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 and stops us from finding joy. It's all body computer stuff, not consciousness. When the colonial powers came into Africa, as everywhere else, they targeted the shaman and the carriers of the ancient knowledge and the ancient history and in his words they milked the minds of the shaman and then killed them so to keep the knowledge uh, alive the shaman streams started to create their own secret societies with horrendous initiation uh, rituals to make sure you really wanted the knowledge um, and they carried it underground so it would survive because the, what the colonial powers wanted in other words these bloodlines behind the colonial powers they wanted to destroy as much of the ancient knowledge as possible because then they could impose their own version of history which would write out what they didn't want people to know and welcome back to Truth Frequency, ladies and gentlemen. I am your host, Chris Gio, and joined as always by Socio Student. We are talking with Dr. Rick Strassman, author of DMT, The Spirit Molecule, and Inner Journeys to Outer Space. Once again, his work is available at Amazon.com, or you can go to his website at rickstrassman.com. Now, Rick, we were talking about the long-term possible benefits of dimethyltryptamine. Um, would you say that there's any benefits in smoke DMT versus ayahuasca, or would ayahuasca ultimately be the therapeutic and beneficial um, way of ingestion? Um, you know, smoke DMT, it's, it's you know, so fast and you know, so disorienting and it's over so quickly that I can't um, imagine it, you know, you know, being used in a widespread, you know, therapeutic manner. Um, um, I think mm -hmm. ayahuasca is, you know, just, you know, much more manageable that way. Let me cut in for a minute. What are the effects and duration of a smoke dose versus an intravenous dose? Well, uh, you know, the I, you know, if you give it IV, it's just slightly more quick than the smoked. Um, you know, like if you smoke it, it starts coming on within, you know, 15 seconds or so. And if it's injected IV, it starts within, you know, 5 or 10 seconds. Um, you know, the peak effect with smoke is around 3 to 5 minutes. And, you know, with IV, it's about 2 minutes. And it's over uh, when you smoke it in about, you know, 45 minutes. And it's over when you give it IV within about, oh, uh, on like a half hour or so. You know, so they're close. You know, they're and just for a disclaimer out there um, for our listeners, if you're even considering trying DMT, uh, you stay away from the injection method because you're never going to get anything that's going to be pure enough that's going to be safe for you to do. So even though we don't condone anything illegal, uh, we're not saying that anybody should go out and do it. If there is anybody out there thinking about it, stay away from the injection method. Would you agree with that, Dr. Strassman? Oh, oh yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, oh, like our DMT was the world's purest DMT, you know. So it, um, it had the stamp of approval of FDA and you know the DEA. Yeah, um, yeah, uh, and you know it can be hard also, you know, to distinguish, you know, between a vein and an artery if mm -hmm. you're inexperienced, and you certainly wouldn't want to be, you know, um, injecting anything into an artery. And also, if you if you blast off through that nuclear cannon while a while a syringe is in your arm, you know you, you could really hurt yourself. Uh, no, <laughs> so. no, it doesn't. You know, you don't do this at home. I completely agree. Um, when you're dealing with something as, as potent as DMT, you need to um, approach it with the most highest respect and understand its power and respect its power. Um, if I can change the subject for a minute. I feel that it has a lot of benefits for end-of-life therapy, and I think it should be used for cancer patients, AIDS patients, anyone who's terminally ill. Um, do you think it has any benefits for um, end-of-life therapy? 
Uh, it could, it could, and you know that was kind of you know one of my you know th- you know thoughts early 